Hi, I'm Steve Stedman, and welcome to this short video tutorial on using the T-SQL get date function. So get date's pretty straightforward. It's a function you call, and it returns the current database system timestamp as a date time value without the database time zone offset. And then we're just going to use the get date function. If we wish, want to get the time part out of that, we can use convert to time on get date, and that will allow us just to extract out the time part of it. There's not a there's not really just a get time that will give us the current time. We just use the get date function using convert, or you could use cast there as well. Uh, there's some other options you can use to get get dates and times out of the system. We've got the get date function we talked about, get sys date time, sys UTC date time, current timestamp, and get UTC date. Now, what I'm going to do is run all of these together and cast them as a time or convert them to time. We do that, we can see the first one here, we call get date, it comes across as 9.05, because that's what time it is here as we're doing the demo. Sys date time is 9.05, so we haven't specified for our current system any type of an offset, so the, the time of the server is in the same time zone that we're in right now, so they, now, so they match up. The UTC date time, which is basically seven or eight hours for us, depending on whether we're in daylight okay, saving time yeah. or not. UTC time is 1600. And the current timestamp is just 905, so that matches over here. And the UTC date showing 1605. So you can see based off of these, if you're doing world calculations, sometimes you need to calculate the time zone in Spain or in Africa or something like that. Not the time zone, but the current time in, in that place. And it might make more sense to pull the UTC date time out of the system based off your database rather than whatever the current time is where your database resides.